this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I want to explain to you the difference between in-channels and insight library uh, drop-down options. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. I'm sure you have already noticed this, um, you know, drop-downs appearing in your uh, SharePoint document library. Uh, but essentially, I have this uh, leadership, uh, you know, team and, you know, obviously a page with everything and then a document library. Everything looks normal here because that's a library embedded uh, on the page. But then when I go inside of the library, right? So I just pretty much go inside of the document library, I get to see this, uh, you know, two, uh, you know, drop down things appearing uh, just above the folders, files and folders. And, um, you know, it will say in channels and inside library. Let me explain to you uh, uh, the difference between the two, right? And when you click here, right, you only get to see two folders. So let me explain to you what's happening. You will only get to see this drop downs on the sites connected to Microsoft Teams. So you see my leadership team. Uh, it's actually a site that was created when I created uh, this leadership team in Microsoft Teams. Because every time you create a new team in Teams, it actually creates a SharePoint site behind the scenes. And that's exactly what happened, right? The site was created uh, to support the documents uh, that you store in Microsoft uh, Teams. Uh, so let me actually, I think what will help if I navigate to uh, Microsoft Teams now, and let me show you uh, what's going on. So uh, I have a bunch of teams. Here is my leadership team. Essentially, this is the team I just created. And I have two standard channels here, general and you know finances uh, channels. Uh, and essentially, um, you know, here they are, general and finances, right? Uh, these are the two folders that were created when I created, you know, when I um, created this finance uh, finances standard channel. Obviously, general channel uh, is always created by default, so that's kind of a given. But these two folders correspond to uh, the channels that I have in Microsoft Teams. So any files that I store here uh, within this particular channel. Under the Files tab, uh, essentially they are stored in here in this library uh, under those corresponding folders, uh, and that's essentially, you know, what this drop-down choice, you know, shows me. It shows me all the folders that I have, well, you know, within uh, within my library, right? For the whole library, uh, it just two of them happen to be the folders that are associated with the channels. And the other two folders are just random folders I uploaded, you know, just randomly uh, to my library. So <clears throat> Insight Library will always show you all the folders you have, whether they're part of, uh, you know, essentially correspond to the channels or just, you know, folders that you uh, that you upload, uh, you know, from uh, from your computer, I guess. Uh, but if you click in channels, if you don't want to see, if you just want to see what's going on you know, uh, in terms of the folders uh, that are connected just to Microsoft Teams, you know, the channel folders, then you can click this drop down, and it filters out the other folders, you see. It only shows me the folders that are connected to Microsoft, uh, you know, Teams, all right? Uh, and by the way, it actually gives it away. So if um, uh, you hover over, you see those, um, you know, essentially those um, folders, uh, essentially, it tells you here, hey, this folder is connected to, uh, essentially, it's a channel folder. You can actually even access it right from here uh, if you want in Microsoft Teams, right? Uh, so that's essentially um, that's essentially what this is all about because, once again, right, in your library, you could have other, you know, folders, other, you know, documents maybe uh, that uh, are not really part of any, you know, channel folders, right, that happen to be outside. And by the way, it could be files as well, right? It doesn't have to be folders, uh, but it's just a way for you to kind of uh, right see what you know what you have uh, in your library versus you know what you have just in terms of the you know the channels that you have in Microsoft Teams. So that's all there is to it. Uh, it's just a way for you, I guess, to visualize your library and uh, again see what's you know what you have in there, uh, what what stuff was uploaded outside of the channel, and what you know, stuff was uploaded as part uh, of the channels, all right? Just an easy way to identify the folders, that's all. Um, and that's all I wanted to show you today uh, in this particular video. So hopefully learn something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. 
uh, and I uh, hope to see you again on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.